Hello everyone, I am on the outskirts of the national capital region of Delhi. Behind me, and as far as the eye can see and beyond, is one of the biggest cities of the world where 31 million people live and one third of them are children. Today I would like to talk to you about a very serious issue of child abuse. Research has shown that more than 50% of children in India have suffered trauma from either emotional abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse or neglect. For years the government and the civil society organizations have been trying to find a comprehensive solution to reduce child abuse. <clears throat> As part of the solution, Viva India team presented its child protection training for teachers and caregivers to the Delhi government. It was prior to the COVID pandemic. The Delhi government requested Viva team to conduct in-person training for 75,000 teachers in 1,021 schools of Delhi. To train 75,000 teachers, we require hundreds of child protection trainers. However, with the onset of COVID, schools closed and the discussion ended without a decision. With schools closed, the teachers taught children online. The flip side of online education is that children, children were on their devices. And most of the day, they had access to all sorts of social media content, including pornography, which is also an aspect of child sexual abuse. During COVID, Viva team had the opportunity to do child protection training on Zoom with many school teachers. We realized that we were repeating the same training over and over again. That's how when we decided why not put this child protection training online through videos. And for that, we got in touch with IT experts to develop a Viva learning management system for uploading online training resources. Our trainers learned how to create, upload and distribute online training resources. In August 2022, we went back to the Delhi government with our online child protection training. The Delhi government piloted the training in four schools with 110 teachers. The feedback we got from school teachers was very encouraging. We submitted the training feedback to the education department and some private schools and our network members also subscribed to our online training. We hear reports like a teacher could recognize uh, domestic violence through a change of behavior in a child. and uh, The issue was addressed by recommending counseling for parents. In the pilot phase of six months for the online training, we trained over 300 teachers and caregivers. Our training is contextualized for India. It's available in two languages, in Hindi and English. It's self-paced online learning training. Uh, there are explanation videos interspersed with activities and quizzes for the participants. However, the participant must complete the activity and answer more than half the questions correctly for them to receive a computer-generated certificate for completing the online child protection training. The training can be accessed through a mobile phone or a computer by logging in to the training website. This means thousands of trainees can log in at the same time to do the training. Discussions are on with the Delhi government to train 18,000 primary school teachers in government schools of Delhi. The government school teachers being trained on child protection will be able to identify the types of child abuse and know the procedure to record and report the abuse. With our training going out to thousands of teachers, many child abuse incidents will be addressed in the city of Delhi. The plan is to roll out the child protection training in government schools from the academics year starting in April. So I'd request prayer for a partnership agreement to be signed with the Delhi government to do the Viva child protection training in schools. Please pray for the Viva IT team, trainers, network coordinators and volunteers for a smooth rollout of the child protection training program without technical glitches or bugs. And also finally pray for the contribution from local donors and businesses to fund the IT cost for running this training. Thank you. God bless. Since the children have returned to school after a gap of almost two years due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the teachers are seen struggling to deal with them. Not just due to the loss of interest in studies, 
but also behavioral changes that the students are displaying in classrooms. I hear of such instances almost on a daily basis when my daughter, who's a teacher, comes home stressed out and feeling sad about the behavioral indiscipline in her classroom. And I see the struggles that she's going through. They struggle with preparing daily lesson plans, worksheets or assessment sheets, and planning creative activities to make learning fun and motivational for the children. Seeing the precariousness of the situation and empathizing with the teachers, Viva India decided to create an online program known as the Teaching Support Program. Taking the curriculum of grades nursery to five as prescribed by the boards of education in India, Viva India has taken all the lessons in the five major subjects, that is English, Hindi, Math, uh, so, uh, social or environmental science and general knowledge and developed lesson plans. These lesson plans are available to the teachers on the learning management system or the LMS platform and they are incorporated with various creative activities and short videos of 8 to 10 minutes which the teachers can look into before going into the classroom and then teach the students accordingly. The program also gives access to different worksheets and assessment sheets that have been prepared on the basis of the lessons, which can be easily downloaded and given to the students as classwork or homework. The TSP is currently being piloted in three schools in Dehradun, North India, and in two learning centers in Delhi. The feedback from the teachers is so far has been a very positive one. There are smiles on their faces as they say that this tool is such a big support to them. They are now able to give more quality time to the students in the classroom using the creative activities that are given in this program. Please pray for the TSP team that's working very hard to prepare these lesson plans, converting them to videos, preparing worksheets and incorporating creative activities to make learning fun for the children. Please pray that the success of this program throughout the country is, is big as it is launched in the nine networks uh, beginning April 2023 and that the children are motivated towards quality learning and education and the teachers are blessed by using this tool. Thank you so much.